Now I've had the Moto G stylus for a couple weeks now. I put my SIM in it, I use it, I take it with me everywhere I go. I wanna tell you what I think about this so far. Let's do this! So I've only been using this device for a couple of weeks, but I noticed some things that I like about it. The first thing I want to talk about is I love the way that Motorola does the notifications. What do I mean by that? Well, if you have a notification, so let's say I have a notification and I pick up the phone. If I just press on this icon, as you see, I'm pressing on the icon. If you just press on it, like so, you actually get to preview some of the message. So that could be any kind of icon or any kind of notification that you have, whatever it is, if it's a text or anything. So if I press it, I can see what that message is. So anything that you have, any kind of notification or icon down here, you just kind of long press it, it'll give you a preview of the message, which is pretty cool. The next thing that I really like about this device is the battery life. I'd have to say, the battery life on this device is out of this world. I can get by two days before I have to charge this device again. And remember, yes, I'm using it for phone calls. I'm using it to text. I'm using it for social media. I am using the device to listen to music and take pictures and all of that stuff. So as you see, I took a screenshot of some of the battery life that I was getting, and that's with the SIM in the device. It's amazing how well the battery is optimized for this device. And so that's another thing that I'm like really impressed with is the battery life. But we'll see how well the battery maintains as we go on. Cause you know, I like to do reviews on these devices a couple months later. The next thing that I thought was really cool, and I don't know if it's just with this device, is the action camera. Now you're just gonna say, so what, whatever, action camera, whoop de doo But the thing is that there are some people out here in this world, and I don't know why, but they still take videos with the phone in portrait, holding the phone in portrait mode. When you take videos, people, please, Flip the phone, make it landscape. It looks better, it takes up the whole screen. So what Motorola has done is with their action camera, when you're taking a video, and for the people that always forget to put it in landscape mode, you actually are taking those videos with it in portrait. Makes it easier to hold, I guess, but this way, those people that forget, they're gonna have a full screen video. I think that's so cool. This is my first phone that I've seen them do that but I'm not one that ever takes videos like this, trust me. The next thing I wanna talk about is the dual speakers on this device. These speakers sound good. Think about it again, guys. The price of this was $299. So for $300, I'm getting a huge battery, dual speakers, and the speakers sound amazing. Listen to this. Sounds pretty damn good, doesn't it? The next thing that I wanna speak on is the stylus. So if any of you are familiar with the Note series, there is the S Pen. And if you take that S Pen out, let's say you leave it on your desk and you go walk away, the phone will actually alert you that you have walked away without replacing the S Pen. Now the Moto G stylus does not do that, but if you allow the permissions, it will tell you the time that you put out the stylus as well as the location, and it gives you that information. It saves it for you so it's right there and you'll be able to know at what time you actually took that thing out. I think that's a pretty cool technique. 
to make sure that you don't lose your stylus. Now again, I haven't had this device for too long. And so you know that I already did a video speaking on the micro scratches that I have on this device already. Yes, the device is plastic, so it's gonna scratch a lot easier. The only other dislike that I have so far is it doesn't get too bright in the direct sunlight. So it's not the dimmest, but it doesn't get as bright as let's say the uh, Note. You know, so when you're in direct sunlight, it's gonna be um, a little dim, but you can still see what you're doing. Other than that, that's all that I have about the dislikes on this device. But for the price, it's real nice. And I don't think you'd really harp on any of these things because of all the other features that come along with it. Well, that's just about does it for this video. I just had to tell you what I think about this device so far, and I like it, I do. Thanks everyone for taking the time to chill with me as we go through this journey. And until next time, everyone, I want you all to have a spectacular day. Later.